Worship the Bishop, we want to welcome you specifically to this school, uh, the School of Holy Rosary Girls, the Royal Blue Divas, that is how they call themselves, and uh, our family, the teachers, they are also present. Uh, since the Bishop doesn't have a lot of time to stay, we are, are you ready to welcome him? Yes, yes madam. How do we welcome people? Clapping, yeah? Yes. Okay, can we clap for the bishop? <laughs> so, uh, our bishop, we have uh, almost 500 girls here and 21 teacher, 20, 30 teachers present, 21 TSC, 5 DOM, and 5 on teaching practice. Uh, we will not have time to introduce all of them, but we know one day you are going to come before the end of this year to pray for them and to lead mass here and have a big celebration with us. So before you, we have our Form 4 class here. No. We have our Form 4 class on this side. We have our players on this side. And uh, we will request that you talk to them to bless the group and also uh, pray for us and bless our faith. We want to welcome you to, we want to welcome Father to introduce the bishop to us. Welcome, Father. Today is our day. We are very happy to host our bishop for the first time in our school. Begin my coffee. So, our students, our dear principal, uh, we thank God for this opportunity which he has given to us, especially to welcome our bishop in this school. And uh, we are happy. And uh, these students, this, uh, they are very, very, very hardworking girls, both in academic and in sports. And we are very happy about it. They are good, good here in students. For many times, we interfere with, I mean, if we are together with them, they are just good. And our, my dear bishop, uh, they are very supportive. Our teachers, the students themselves, they are very, very supportive to the church. And we pray that we continue working together for the better of our church and for the better of our schools. Recently, we have been affected by what has been happening in the county. But for us, we are trying a lot, and we hope uh, we are, the school is going to grow, both academically and also spiritually. So it is my chance now to welcome the bishop to come to say a word to our student. Thank you, bishop. The Royal Blue Divas, good morning. Good morning, Sancho. Our teachers, good morning. Good morning. I would like to say uh, to you, thank you so much for the good work you are doing. Uh, in this school, the work of mentoring our girls, our students, is not easy. You have given your best. We say thank you. And I'll continue praying for you, that the good Lord will continue to energize you as you continue journey with our students. And uh, to our principal, Tunamuambia Asante, Sidio, kwa kazi mzuri ambaye anafanya kwa uongozi wake katika shule yetu, he will say thank you so much to our principal. Um, Well, I'm here first to greet you and to wish you well. And secondly, to encourage you that as students, you should not forget the reason why you are here. 
the reason why you are here in this institution. And I'm sure you have that in your mind why you are here. And I'm here to encourage you so that you continue to refocus yourself and uh, continue to have that perception why you are here as a student. And wherever place I go, I always tell our dear students about three things that you are supposed to remember. Three things that you are supposed to remember as a student and as a human being. Number one, you know we are here, the parish priest always comes here for Mass. The priest comes here to celebrate Mass for you. And the purpose is to make you closer to God. So the first thing is be closer to God. <coughs> and don't forget about that. Be in constant touch, constant communion with God. Constant conversation with God. Talk to God always. Ask God to empower you. Ask God to give you wisdom. So the first thing, remember, always put God first in whatever that you do. God is the creator of heaven and earth. Things that we are able to see, those things that we are not able to see. And we are called to always be closer to him more than ever. And so our dear students, uh, be God-fearing. And not only as students, but even in your lives, wherever you are going to go, put always God first. And the blessings will always follow you. And so remember always, be a prayerful girl, a prayerful person. In the morning, say a prayer. In the evening, say a prayer. Just thank God. And ask God to energize you. That is the first thing. The second thing is uh, be disciplined. Discipline. You know, discipline, it has its roots, uh, that word, from a Latin word, which means there is a master or somebody who is more knowledgeable and in order to follow that person there is a certain way of life that you have to embrace it has to do with the discipleship that you have to embrace a particular way of life for you to achieve the ideals of the master or the mistress so discipline is about having a particular way of life, how you are supposed to live in order to achieve something that you want, something that you desire in life. So discipline, many times you hear about this word, and many times that word is, 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 is said to you, be disciplined, be disciplined. So what does it contain? If it is time for studies, study. If it is time for games, go for games. If it is time to keep quiet in class, keep quiet. Listen to your teacher. When you are at home, respect your parents. Listen to them. When you are in school, respect your teachers. Listen to them. When you are with your fellow colleagues, your fellow friends, you know, respect them. You see, that is a particular way of life you are called to be. And of course, there is what is called self-discipline. 
know when to study, know when to make noise, know when not to make noise. When you are in the field, we don't expect you to keep quiet, isn't it? But when you are in class, we expect you to keep quiet. When you are in church, we expect you to do what? When the teacher is speaking, you are expected to do what to listen. Cleanliness is also part of the discipline. Be clean. Okay? And then personal discipline. Another one. Know yourself. Know who you are. Know your strength and your weakness. We want uh, all of you to be to have all the best that you want in life. We want all of you to succeed in life. And that is why you are here in this institution. To get knowledge. And this knowledge is supposed to empower you. So that you become the, a self-discipline. Know yourself. Know who you are. Know who you are. You know you are a teenager. And you are thinking about many things. Some of you are thinking probably about marriage. Forget about those things, about early marriages and, uh, you know. Think about 10 years. Where do you want to be? Where do you want to be and what is it that you want to be? So do we have a, a pregnancy in this school? Eh? You don't have? Not even one? Some are laughing. <laughs> Some of you are married earlier, probably. Who knows? Take care of yourself. Know your sexuality. Be disciplined. Are we together, girl? Yes. Are we together? Yes. Not a canyote malice a few less. Start thinking about marriage you keep a university. Not now. Are we together? Yes. That is part of self discipline. Respect yourself. And don't engage in sex. Anyhow, respect yourself. Tuko pamoja? Yes. Nasema hivyo kwa sababu, na watakia muwe na maisha mazuri sasa na siku za uto. Maisha kule inje ni magumu na yanaitaji mtu mwanafunzi mwenye bidi, mwenye nizamu, mwanafunzi ya diye jitolea, muhanga, ambaye anajiheshimu na anajua malengo yake katika maisha so that discipline when you talk about discipline is about anything it's about anything. but take care of yourself be a good guy be a good guy be good. even if somebody proposes to my you must be a not now I'm going to be a kakumija for now, build your foundation, work hard, get papers, Peter Missouri, go to university, and God will open doors and get, get some blessings in your life. So that is number two. Number three is work hard.
Hakuna vya bure, lazima ufanye kazi, lazima usome. Please what? Remember those things. Put God first. Be disciplined and okay. And walk with all the, the three things for the rest of your year. For my entire course. Na mungu atazidi kuwa na wewe atazidi kukuongoza katika safari yako kama mtume damu hapa duniani. Kwa hiyo yangu ni hayo ninasema asanteni sana. Kwa hiyo wanasema mwenye masikio asikie. Na asiposikia eh? Asiposikia so hilo atasema dunia ni mshumeno ukata nyuma na ndio hivyo lakini nyinyi ni wasikivu nyinyi ni wanafunzi wema ndio najua kwamba Mungu wako pamoja nanyi na atawabariki na atawafungulia milango ya baraka lakini kwa sasa msome kwa na muwe na nida kwa hivyo kile ambacho kitafuti kwa jina la Bwana aliyeumba mbingu na nchi Bwana awe nanyi. Tuombe Mungu Baba Mwenyezi wewe ndiye asili ya baraka zote mbinguni na duniani. Tunakuomba upende kubariki maji haya. Ili yeyote na chochote kitakachonyuziwa maji haya kiweze kupokea baraka kwako kwa njia ya Kristo Bwana wetu. Amen. Sala kwa ajili ya kuombea watahimiwa wetu. Bwana awe nanyi. Amen. Tuombe. E Mungu Baba Mwenyezi wewe ndiye asili ya baraka zote mbinguni na duniani. Tunaleta watahiniwa wote wetu mikononi mwako. Upende kuwalinda, upende kuwabariki. Tunakuomba e Baba uwajalie afya njema ya roho na ya mwili siku zote. Waendelee kudumu katika pendo lako. Tunakuomba e Bwana wanapoanza kujiandaa kwa ajili ya mitiani yao upungue akili zao ili yote ambayo wanaendelea kujifundisha na marudio yote ambayo wanafanya yaweze kuwa ya manufaa kwao na wanapofanya watakapofanya mitiani yao waweze kukumbuka yote waliofundishwa na waweze kupita na kufaulu na Mwenyezi Mungu tunakuomba pia baada ya kufaulu mitiani yao wafungulie baraka nyingi katika maisha yao waweze kufaulu katika maisha yao na mwisho wa maisha yao pia uweze kuwafikisha katika ufalme wa mbinguni na Mwenyezi Mungu wapende kuwalinda watahiniwa wetu na kuwabariki kwa jina la Baba na la Mwana na la Roho Mtakatifu Amen
baba mwenyezi ndiye asili ya baraka zote mbinguni na duniani wewe ndiye ambaye unatujalia talanta nyingi katika maisha yetu tunakushukuru kwa zawadi ya shule yetu na tunakushukuru kwa zawadi ya hawa wana sporti ambao wanaenda kucheza kandanda siku hii ya leo na kuomba uwe pamoja na hao wajalia afya njema ya roho na ya mwili na pia uwajalie bidii na kufanya kazi kwa pamoja ili waweze kuibuka kuwa washindi na Mwenyezi Mungu apende kuwalinda na kuwabariki kwa jina la Baba Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu Bwana you hand it over to somebody else. Thank you so much, Asante Sam. Yeah, when a fuzzy our deputy head girl will give you. <laughs> 